the Dan Electro D64. Dan Electro is one of those rare bass brands that is retro in looks and passive in nature and has proved its weight in gold on countless hit records throughout the years. Space age and old fashioned at the same time, this baritone guitar was first released in the late 1950s and soon became a go-to instrument for rock and country bass players. Its synthetic materials and low price made the Dan Electro's quirky twang and futuristic look a big part of the pop aesthetic ever since it was introduced. So let's check it out. Let's start with the build. If you can imagine a bass designed by artist Salvador Dali, this would be it. The Dan Electro D64 almost looks like one of Dali's melted clocks, and with its reverse double cutaway offset horn shape and rather strange pickup angles, the D64 is a serious artistic statement. What's also very cool and interesting is that when you pick this baby up, it's pretty darn solid, as well as being somewhat lightweight. And as you can see, there's not much in the way of a headstock and has pretty small tuners, so the balance of the bass is very nice. Oh, and the good news for you gigging bass players everywhere is, it's good on your lower back. When it comes to the nuts and bolts on this bass, you can see that a good amount of thought has gone into the engineering, and you'd hope so seeing the price. Well made and assembled, the features are traditional, from the four bolt bolt on neck join to the two piece bridge and no frills retro front jack socket. As for the finish of the body, this is sexy and extreme. The white pearl finish has a touch of glitter sparkling away underneath and what we also loved was the same type of finish texture has also been applied to the back of the neck. The sound. This bass comes with two pickups, a single tone, a three position selector and a coil tapper available. This is old school and there's not a trace of active electronics. That being said, if you're looking for great treble tones out of the 64, you'll be very disappointed as the focus is firmly on the low end. If you know that going in and you're looking for more of a thud or a dull sounding tone, this is the bass for you. In fact, flatten or roll off the tone and you have instant Motown. A little more messing and you'll have soul and reggae sounds for days as well. It's not all bass though, there are mids that you can squeeze out of this baby, just not high ones. One way you can hear a little more click is to mute the bass with your picking hand. You can also turn around and give your chosen amp a bit of a tweak, but it's important to know what you're buying here. A bass with deep, warm sounds that scream retro. Playability so, when we looked at this bass in terms of playability, the first thing we realized was you may need to adjust the thumb rest point because of the way the pickups are angled, or let's get old school here, do what they did back in the day and rest your thumb on the E string. As for the neck, the finish feels pretty sticky, so if you're looking to be running up and down and playing crazy jazz scales, you may want to think about another bass altogether. This is a bass that does one job extremely well indeed. The Dan Electro 64 is a deep hold the rhythm down type of beast. So if the band or session you're in are looking for any more than that, we suggest you think about bringing a different bass altogether. This bass is far from inexpensive, especially given its selective tone range, but if you're looking for a bass that looks and sounds like none other in your collection, you've come to the right place. So, let's check the tech specs for the Dan Electro D64. Construction, bolt-on. Body, cypress. Neck, maple. Neck width and nut, 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. Fingerboard, rosewood. Frets, 21. String spacing, 19 millimeters. Tuners, Cluson style. Bridge, adjustable stop tailpiece. Pickups at the bridge, Dan Electro dual lipstick humbucker with coil split switch. At the neck, vintage style single coil. Scale length, 34 inches. Controls, volume, tone, and three-way pickup selector. And the weight, eight pounds. Wrapping up, the Dan Electro 64 isn't for every bass player. To some, it could even be construed as fugly. But with its solid construction and quirky tone, the players who splash the cash will find a ton of use for this instrument. Our verdict? You won't get much change out of $800, but this bass gives you amazing retro tones that are available at a price. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us at rockmyworld.com.